Hey guys, Yoshi from Triple J Armory here. Today we're gonna to be talking about PCCs, so let's get into it. What is a PCC? Well, what it stands for is pistol caliber carbine. Now what it actually is, is a gun platform that has ties to a rifle in the fact that it's very similar in ergonomics. However, it does fire a pistol caliber such as nine millimeter. It's a hybrid or a bridge of sorts between your traditional handgun and a rifle. Now, a lot of people call these things different things, such as a PCC, a subgun, submachine gun. And while the platform may be the same, there is one that stands out that's inherently different. The submachine gun sits in its own class within the PCC world because it does have full auto capabilities. Now that we know what it is, let's jump into different types. Now, this guy is super cool. This is an Arrow EPC-9. Now, if you look at this, this looks almost exactly like an AR-15. If I cover up the magazine well, it almost looks exactly the same. You have your same controls, so your safety is in the same spot. Your charging handle is going to be the same. You have your same bolt release, same pistol grip, same brace or stock that you would use on an AR platform, even almost down to the same muzzle devices and same hand guards. All the parts are almost exactly the same. They feel the same. They handle the same. The only difference is you're firing a nine millimeter instead of a 556 or 223. So the next platform we're gonna be talking about is the AK platform. Today we have the Palmetto State AKV in front of us. This guy, if you look at it, looks very reminiscent of a regular AK. Only a couple of minor differences here, but we'll go through them briefly. Um, your controls are very similar. You still have the same uh, safety actuation. This particular gun has an ALG trigger in it, which is super smooth. Um, the one difference that I wanted to point out, or one of the differences I wanted to point out, is this gun does have a bolt hold open as well as a bolt release on the opposite side. Another difference to note is that the magazine goes straight into the magazine well. We don't have that traditional AK rock in, um, but that's okay. The takedown is very similar and the operating system inside is direct blowback, so that is another difference to note. Other than that, this is the Palmetto State AKV. The next category of PCC that we're gonna be discussing is your more purebred styles. These guns were designed around a pistol caliber cartridge over a rifle caliber. We've got two categories that we're gonna be discussing today, the more modern style versus the more classic style. Representing the modern style we have today, the CZ Scorpion. This particular one is a micro, not that it's super important, but these are very, very modular. The aftermarket following for CZ Scorpions is huge. A lot of customizability there. Another attractive factor of this gun is that it's almost truly ambidextrous. You do have safeties on both sides that are actuated just as easy. You've got a magazine release that you can actuate from both sides as well, as well as a charging handle you can swap from left to right and so on and so forth. The only thing that's not so ambidextrous is the bolt release here. It's only left side only. That being said, these guns are amazing. They come in at a super affordable price point, which is attractive to a lot of shooters out there. But that's your more modern style PCC. Moving on from your modern style PCCs, we're gonna move into the classic style PCCs. What we have representing that today is gonna to be the H&K MP5, good old stunning and brave. That never gets old. So, talking about the MP5, one really unique point of it is it does work on a roller delayed system, which means that it is gonna be a different operating system than some of the other PCCs out there. What that gives us is a very low recoil, smooth shooting platform. These have been around for a while, nothing new. You know, if you, if you have ever played any video game, watched any sort of movie, you've probably seen one of these. But that being said, this particular model is the, in the K configuration, meaning it's shorter. It does have a tri-lug mount for the barrel if you wanted to put a suppressor on it for quick detachment. And then this gun also sits in the submachine gun category. This particular one is select fire, meaning it is full auto capable. But that's gonna be your HK MP5 and your classic style PCCs. So why would we choose a PCC? Let's say, why would we purchase a PCC over say a handgun or a rifle? Well, there's a lot of reasons out there. We're only gonna cover a few today. One of the biggest driving factors in PCCs is gonna be the ammo cost. In front of me today, I have a full magazine of 5.56, this is green tip, and then I also have a full magazine of nine millimeter. This is a 30 round magazine, this is a 35 round magazine. Ammo cost at the time of this recording, it cost me about $14 to fill up this magazine versus almost 20 to fill this one up. So you have about a 25% cost discrepancy there. That's a good amount which leads us to our next point, which is training value. With that cost value there, I can actually train more on a PCC versus a rifle. It costs me less money, I can shoot more, and that means I can get more repetitions in. Another benefit to that is that I can actually use a platform that's semi-similar 
to what my main rifle may be, but also while training on a platform that doesn't cost me as much, but still training gross motor skills and having a lot of repetitions there. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite PCC is. While you're at it, give us a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really helps us out a lot. I'm Yoshi, and I'll catch you guys next time.